Hey guys, it's what Bambi TV. So today we're going to check in out Prophet Muhammad is mentioned in the Bible. Mind blown. Whoa. Guys, this is really mind blowing. Like, guys, let's check this out. Like, let's let's go straight into this. <laughs> I have read the Bible through many, many, many times. And others such as I have read it many more times, much more educated than I could ever be, understanding both Hebrew and Greek. Uh, Mohammed is not mentioned in the Old Testament. With this countless number of reading, the man doesn't see it. How can that be? I said, you see, what has happened is this. First, that Muhammad is mentioned by name in the original scriptures. The Old Testament, according to Christian authorities, was preserved in the Hebrew language. And the New Testament in Greek scriptures, Greek language. In the Old Testament, in the Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16, in the Hebrew language, it reads, Hikko mamittakim vi kullo muhammadim zehdudi vi zehrei bainat Jerusalem. Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. The word muhammadim is muhammad im im i am im. Im is a plural of respect in Hebrew. You see the first verse of the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The word God in Hebrew there is Elohim. In Hebrew, Ella stands for God. Elohim is a plural form to say with all respect and reverence. Plural of respect. In all Eastern languages, including Arabic and Hebrew. There are two types of plurals. Plural of respect as well as numbers. In the Quran also we find the very same thing. Like the verse Allah says, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. That it is for us to send down the revelation and it is for us to protect it. Who is this us? Ask any Muslim. Who is this us? Is Allah Jibreel and Muhammad, like Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? No. But is as, who is as? When we are told in the Holy Quran, Qul Allahu Ahad, say, He is Allah, the one and only. Here he's talking about as. No Arab Christian has ever asked the Muslim, I said the Arab Christian, has ever asked the Muslim, who is this as? Because he knows in his language, there are two types of plurals. Plural of numbers and plural of respect. This as is like in royal proclamations, you have plural of respect. We have decreed, says the queen. We. Who is this we? Not she and her husband and her, her son. No, no, no. It's standing for herself. Out of respect. Plural. Guys. No, 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 no. I feel, I feel... I know what he's saying is right, but like when he uses the scenario of the point, she's saying we. Like, I feel you can say there are some people that I might have, like, she might have talked with, like, her husband and some people around her, then she come out with the answer that, oh, we have decided. Not just, I feel not just her herself. Like, I understand what he's saying, but let's get back into this. So, Elohim is a plural of respect. Im. El is God. Ella is God. Elohim is more than one of respect. Ask any Jew. This is his book. Ask him what is his Im. He said, look, in my language, this is a plural of respect. God is one. But out of respect, we speak like that. Im. 
says Muhammad im Muhammad im plural of respect Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. Yes, the name Muhammad does show up. It does say Muhammadim, but the name Muhammad is very plainly in the text. The word is there in the Hebrew language. In the original, what they call original, it's there. But they have translated that in English as altogether lovely. So this beloved of mine is altogether lovely. When you read altogether lovely, you can't associate with the word Muhammad. You read it a thousand times, altogether lovely, altogether lovely. Or let's say in another language, the praised one, the praised one. Muhammad means the praised one. But he said the praised one, the praised one. You can't think that he's talking about Muhammad. Though Muhammad means the praised one. You have no right to translate names of people. Anybody. Your Guys, I don't think you can actually explain it. In the sense that it's just one word, like it wasn't referring to him, like oh fine as there, but like I feel you can't just read the Bible words for words. It's gonna be somehow like even if the name was there, but they were only referring to him as anything. Guys, let's go further. Like this is actually opening my mind. Like I feel it's giving me like like i never knew it was in the bible but now it's in the bible like let me see what the bible is actually saying about muhammad like let's get back into this name should be retained mr black is mr black though he's white you have no right to translate names of people but they have been doing that muhammad im they translated as altogether love but the word muhammad is there in the Hebrew language in the origin. So we said, look, you have lost the name Jesus Christ, according to the Holy Quran says, Wa is qala Isa ibn Maryam. Says, Behold, Jesus, the son of Mary, said, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, in me Rasulullah ilaykum. So most certainly I am the messenger of God sent to you all. Confirming the revelation which came before me. And giving you glad tidings of a messenger to come after me, whose name shall be Ahmad, which is another name for Muhammad. Muhammad and Ahmad are synonymous terms for oh, this mighty messenger of God. Ahmad. That is what the Quran tells us. But the Christian says, look, it's not, it's not in my book. Yeah. It's not here. There's no Ahmad and there's no Muhammad. So you are left with no alternative but to analyze what is there. You see, they have a verses in the Bible, in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 16, where it says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, Jesus says. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I go, I will send him. And when he is come, he will convict the world in respect of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not in me and on and on. He says, if I don't go, the Comforter will not come unto you. 
we say that comforter is Muhammad. The same chapter, he says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them. Now, nah, you haven't got that capacity. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. Spirit of truth. Who is the spirit of truth? Ask the Christian. Is the Holy Ghost. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself, but what things so shall he hear, that shall he speak. And he shall declare unto you the things that are to come. He shall glorify me. So who is the spirit of truth? They said the Holy Ghost. I said, all right. If this is the Holy Ghost, tell us now, what new things has he given you in the past 2,000 years? He said, Jesus said, I have yet many things to say unto you. But you cannot bear them now. But before we expound this aspect, let me reread to you this verse with a little emphasis on the pronouns. He says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself. But what things shall he hear, that shall he speak, and he shall declare unto you the things that are to come, he shall glorify me. Eight masculine pronouns. I say, it ill befits a ghost. You agree? That is a man, a man, a man, a man. Eight times. There is not another verse in the whole Bible with eight masculine pronouns, or eight feminine gender, or eight neuter genders. There isn't. This is a unique verse for a unique personality, Muhammad. Man, 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 not a ghost, not a spook. But we are told he's a spirit. Is Muhammad a spirit? I say yes. That's what your Bible says. You see, every time the word spirit is used in your Bible, I'm telling the Christian, it doesn't stand for the Holy Ghost. Because in the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible, it, we are told that seven spirits of God went out into the world. I say, you believe in seven Holy Ghosts? He says, no, there's only one Holy Ghost. I say, look, it's a seven spirits. It means should be seven Holy Ghosts. No, spirit doesn't stand for Holy Ghost every time. Then in the same John, the same John, in the first epistle of John, he says, Beloved, believe not every spirit. But try the spirits whether they are of God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. False prophet is a false spirit. True prophet is a true spirit. Whoa. Saint John is using spirit for a prophet. Don't believe every spirit. Right. Don't believe in every prophet. Saint John, in the Gospel of Saint John, he says, he says, he that is born of spirit is spirit. And he that is born of the flesh is flesh. So do spirits beget? Do they prohibit? He says, no. Then how can you be born of spirit? No. In, what it means there is that who is spiritually inclined is spiritual. Who is materialistically inclined is flesh. flesh. What brought you here tonight? Some kind of gift that you were expecting from D-Dad? You know, he's going to give you some sweet meats. What? Some chocolates? Is that what brought you here? If that was the case, and suppose I give it out to you, you are materialistically inclined. Material things brought you here. So you are a materialist. In the language of the Bible, you are fleshy, you are of the flesh. Materialist. If it was spiritual consideration, motivation that brought you here, then you are spiritual. In gospel language, say he that is born means the thing that motivates you, that brings you up into being. If it is spirit, spiritually, then you are a spirit. And if you are fleshly, you are flesh. Material, you are flesh. سبب القوي إلى المقام أرفعي وأسمتي وعروتي فاستمسكي يا
guys, let, let's take a pause. You understand? Like, I've been a Christian all my life. Like, okay, I'm just finding out Muhammad was actually in the Bible. But when we talk about the Holy Spirit, I feel when Christ left, he sent the Holy Spirit to us. And it was written in the Bible that the, the, the disciples were praying and the Holy Spirit came upon them and they were speaking in different tongues. So like, is he trying to say Muhammad is the Holy Spirit? I am not really believe in it. Like, it's, it's, I know the Bible and the Quran has some similar things, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Tell me what you think. Like, but for me, I feel it's strange. Like, it's taking me time to possess. But, like, I know you having a counter with the Holy Spirit, it changes you. And I feel, I feel I've been in that place in my life, guys. Like, I've been in a place that, yo, I was, like, I was changed by the words of God. Like, I feel with the help of the Holy Spirit, like, able to interpret some scriptures, like, Holy Spirit have done a lot for us, like, if we want to be honest, like, Holy Spirit have actually guided us, given us wisdom, and, guys, tell me how you feel, like, I'm not actually saying what he's saying is wrong, but, I'm just giving my point of view, like, I feel the Holy Spirit is not Muhammad, that's what I feel. Guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, I'll see you next time, guys, Let's.